Hey guys, welcome back to Baking with Shannon. Today we're going to be making banana blueberry oat cakes, the perfect, fun, gluten free twist on a bowl of oatmeal. So don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for new videos every week. I'm going to start by adding some old fashioned plain rolled oats into a bowl of a food processor, along with a couple tablespoons of baking powder and a heaping tablespoon of cinnamon. So it should only take about a minute or so at most until those oats are nice and finely ground. And then you just want to add two large eggs. And of course the second egg I added had a second yolk in it for good measure. <laughs> but just add two large eggs and then to that you want to add three tablespoons of maple syrup. And then you want to add some buttermilk, which helps to make our pancakes nice and tender. I'm actually using 2% reduced fat milk, because that's all I had, and I just added about 1.5 tablespoons of white vinegar, just to make it a little bit sour, like buttermilk. Um, and it helps to react with the baking powder later, so it creates nice and fluffy pancakes. So just give it a quick whiz around in your food processor, just until it's nice and smooth like you see there, and then just let your batter rest for 10 minutes at room temperature before spooning it out onto a cast iron skillet or whatever non-stick pan you have. And you'll notice it's much thicker than it was before just because those oats have really absorbed that buttermilk. And I'm topping my pancakes with of course some blueberries and some bananas. I'm using frozen blueberries which will take a little bit longer to cook so just keep that in mind, but you can use whatever fruit you like. So after two minutes or so, it doesn't take too long, you want to just take a peek underneath, see if it's golden brown, and just flip them over and cook them for an additional two minutes. Just until, you know, it's kind of firm on top and it's golden brown. So I'm topping my pancakes with a pat of butter. You can use margarine or you can use maybe some Greek yogurt or some peanut butter as well if you want a healthier twist. But I'm just going with the old fashioned pat of butter as well as some warm maple syrup. So I love how soft and fluffy these pancakes are and I do recommend using some sort of fruit like bananas or blueberries to help with the added sweetness. Um, we didn't add much maple syrup or any refined sugars to these pancakes and I do especially like the blueberries because it helps to keep the pancakes nice and moist. So either way, whatever fruit you use, um, you know, it's a great gluten-free and healthier alternative with a lot of good soluble fiber coming from the oats to help lower cholesterol and keep you regular so that's just honest truth but <laughs> um, so they're re really a great alternative to regular all-purpose floured pancakes so if you give this recipe a try don't forget to drop a comment down below letting me know what you thought as well as subscribe for new videos and new recipes every week and don't forget to smash that like button and i really appreciate it so until next time i'll see you back here bye